Hello! If you watched my previous video, you already know how to create an Android app from scratch using Android Studio and AI chatbots to generate code. In that video, I built a simple app, tested its functions, and got it up and running. But let's be honest, it was very basic. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out using the link below or by heading over to my YouTube channel. And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, today's task is to take that simple app and turn it into something more functional. As always, I gave all the necessary details to ChatGPT to generate the code for me. For this project, I chose to build a budget tracker, an app to help manage daily income and expenses. The idea was simple. Two buttons, income and expense, a display showing the current balance. When an income is added, the balance should increase. When an expense is added, the balance should decrease. Users should be able to name each transaction and set its value. Two lists to keep track of previous incomes and expenses. Within seconds, ChatGPT provided the XML and Kotlin code. I copied and pasted everything into the relevant files, and boom, 19 errors popped up in mainactivity.kt. No worries, though. As usual, I fed all the errors back to ChatGPT, asking for a solution. It then told me to create a new XML file called dialogtransaction.xml inside the layout folder and paste the given code. I did that and rebuilt the project, only to be greeted by more errors. Once again, ChatGPT came to the rescue. This time, it asked me to add a missing import statement to mainactivity.kt. And just like magic, the errors disappeared. With no errors left, it was time to test the budget tracker app. I connected my Android device to the PC with USB debugging enabled inside developer options. But today, I discovered something new, an option to mirror my phone's screen inside Android Studio's device manager. That made testing so much easier. After starting screen mirroring, I ran the app using the green play button. But another problem, the app wouldn't start, it kept crashing. Back to chat GPT for answers. And of course, in seconds, it gave me the solution. The issue? The package name in the .kt file needed to be changed. Made the fix, ran the app again, and da-da. The errors were gone. The app was running smoothly. I started testing and everything worked exactly as expected. Income and expenses were being recorded, the balance updated correctly, and the list displayed previous transactions perfectly. But then, I noticed something. All the data was only temporary. The moment I closed the app, everything disappeared. So, how do we make this app save data permanently, even after closing? That's what we'll figure out in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.